Good evening. The Vancouver Aquarium says it still can't explain what killed its two beluga whales. Aurora died Friday night, just nine days after her calf, Keela. And medical tests over the weekend are providing several possibilities. But as CTV Scott Roberts reports, with no definite cause for the mysterious deaths, the aquarium has been in contact with Vancouver police. The question has haunted the Vancouver Aquarium for days. What killed these two beluga whales, mother and daughter, less than two weeks apart? Tonight, the answer, still a mystery. It's perplexing to me. It's perplexing to our 80,000 members. Both necropsies inconclusive, but the one performed this weekend on Aurora providing clues. Veterinarians say the animal suffered severe liver damage, consistent with a few possibilities. Our most likely culprits um, for this are, are either a virus or a toxin. But how the whales could have been infected with either is still unclear. Staff not ruling out the possibility the animals could have been deliberately poisoned, pointing to targeted harassment of staff over keeping the whales in captivity and a recent break-in at the Marine Rescue Center, though that's in a different location and happened after Keela's death. Security video is now being combed through minute by minute. Number of circumstances that taken together present a pretty clouded, confusing picture. I will stress that nothing's off the table right now. Until they know what happened, no marine mammals will live in this tank. The question now, will they ever again? The deaths reigniting debate over keeping belugas here, something the mayor wants phased out. I think that's uh, the shift that we're seeing uh, more globally, and I think Vancouver should be part of that. Still, that's up to the park board to decide, a responsibility they could be abdicating to voters. The chair introducing a motion tonight to put the question to a referendum. I think the responsible thing to do is provide Vancouverites with an opportunity to voice their opinion. For now, visitors are voicing their grief on handwritten notes of condolence pressed against a tank that sits empty for the first time in more than 40 years. And Scott is live at the aquarium tonight. So Scott, what else are staff doing to try to figure out what happened? Well, they've sent tissue samples to universities in both Florida and California. They're awaiting toxicology results from Michigan and Ontario. So they really do have the top minds in this field working on this. They're also launching a review into any operations that were linked to these beluga whales over the past year. Now, when it comes to that multi-million dollar expansion that's supposed to happen to those beluga tanks here at the aquarium, well, officials say that could now be up in the air. They say planning and design will continue, but construction will not begin until they know exactly what happened here. Mike. Scott Roberts, live at the aquarium tonight. Thanks.